Hello everyone. Last night I was watching It's a Wonderful Life with James Stewart and Donna Reed, 1946 film, classic. It has a, a famous scene in there where they have a bank run. And I was sitting there trying to get my wife interested. She's not really into black and whites, but I was trying to get her interested in the film. And they had the part where they had the bank run. She asked me, well, what's going on here? And I said, well, everyone's trying to get their money out or there's no more money. I said, well, why would they run out of money? And I said, well, because they work on a fractional reserve basis. They, they don't have everyone's money that has deposits in the bank. Not all the money's there. So rather than trying to explain fact, fractional reserve banking to her for the next half an hour, uh, we just continued on and, and watched the end of the movie. But it does a good job explaining, you know, showing in a, what happens in that event where, you know, there's a run on the bank because the people want to get their money out before they're told, sorry, we, you know, can't give you any money. Um, you know, this whole system we have, fractional reserve banking, it's a total joke. You know, when I bought my house, when I signed the documents, the money came into existence at that moment. It never existed. The bank didn't take something out of their vault and come and give it to me and say, here, use this to buy your house, give it back to us with interest. No, they didn't give me anything. The money was created right when I signed my name. And then I got to work hard to pay them back and pay them interest to buy the house, just like on the credit cards. They give you a piece of plastic, they don't give you anything. You get to make money when you use the plastic card and you gotta work to, to pay them back with interest. I mean, the whole banking system is just a total joke. I mean, they don't even have to have reserves, the 10%. And the Federal Reserve, they're not federal, they don't have any reserves. They create money out of thin air. I just did a video about Ben Bernanke creating money out of thin air. He said that you know, that they were doing it 21 months ago. And now he says, no, we're not for any money. I mean, whatever he says, it doesn't matter. He he has accounts that he just adds zeros to on his computer. I mean, you can't have a system like this that lasts forever. People put so much faith into this paper money experiment that's been going on for 40 years, since 1971, when they closed the gold window. They put more faith in this than they do in gold and silver, which has been used in global commerce throughout time for thousands of years as the best form of money, best form of a medium of exchange. No, people are putting their faith in paper money. You know, there's, there's, uh, I was watching an interview today with James Turk, and he was sit and he was talking about some guys saying for months he's been trying to get his gold silver bars out of a Swiss bank. You know, he, they're allocated supposedly. He says he has allocated silver and he's got serial numbers on some contracts and He's like, give me, you know, I'll give you my medal. And he's having trouble getting his medal, him and a lot of other people. And this is just going to keep skyrocketing the amount of people we hear about that can't get their medal. You know, that's from anywhere from 10 to 100 uh, times the amount of physical metal there is available for investment that they've sold. The major banks have sold to each other and they sold to investors. And these investors are paying storage fees on nothing because there's nothing being stored for them. I mean, uh, Morgan Stanley, I believe, was sued for that, or J.P. Morgan. One of these big banks in the last few years was sued because the people thought they were paying, you know, they, they went in there to get their money and, the, and their uh, silver, and it wasn't there. They were paying storage fees all this time for nothing. I mean, uh, this whole system's coming down. People have got to have some paper money and some gold and silver. The reason I say paper money is because the bank can close at any time, and your little plastic card's not going to work. And so you got to have a little bit of cash. I mean, you can't put so much faith in the banks. This, a lot of people learned that in the 1930s. They were bailed out this last time in 08 by the Federal Reserve. The lender of last resort stepped up and bailed everyone out. But I don't know. It, it's uh, you got to be pretty brave to put so much faith in the banks these days. And as far as the the gold, also in that interview they were talking about the gold in Fort Knox, which I've done some videos on. You know, it's an interesting story, uh, the whole thing about Fort Knox. I mean, there hasn't been an audit in 50 years, since 1954. I mean, if the gold's there, why not just audit it and then be proud of the fact that it's there and tell us. It can't be there. They're, they don't do an audit in 50 years of our gold. That's totally ridiculous. That's ludicrous that we don't 
get to be assured that the gold's there. And granted, the gold's only worth three or four hundred billion dollars at the current value of uh, fourteen hundred dollars an ounce. It's eight thousand one hundred thirty-three tons. It's only worth like three four hundred billion. That's what it costs to run this country for two months. It's not that much money. Gold's got to go way higher for it to do any type of backing of all the paper money that they've printed up. So, I, I you know, really need to think about all the faith that's being put in, especially in these four hundred one k's and stuff. Some of those 401ks could be snatched up. Some of these retirement accounts, government accounts, could say, hey, in the, in the best interest of the country, you know, the national security of the country, you know, we need to uh, utilize some of this for national security purposes. I mean, anything's possible. I mean, you gotta have something that you have that you keep yourself. You can't just leave everything in the bank. 